Hello, welcome to the Bluffton Report. In this video, we are talking about how to get over a breakup and possibly how to break up with someone. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. If you're new here, I'm Mr. Mayo. This is the Bluffton Report. Let's get to the show. Is it hello? Is it hello or goodbye? Which one am Hello, welcome to The Blessing Report, the channel for comedy and conviction, entertainment, edification. I'm Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy, and we have a new video today, so let's get right into it. How to get over a breakup and how to break up with someone potentially. And uh, with this, um, there's going to be some tag videos right here. And um, those videos are how to actually pursue a woman of God and also how to like be pursued and um, the point of it is to note the pitfalls and dangers of casual dating which is very unbiblical and um, unintentional and so how to get over a breakup um, and I guess the pitfalls of casual dating is that there is heartbreak involved but heartbreak um, only comes from a lack of I guess like wisdom and just like knowledge so if we're just going from like biblical dating or courting or whatever there was no like um, boyfriend and girlfriends but what a man had to do was basically um, have corporate um, interactions with a woman and then from there they would become betrothed so he had to like meet the parents and like meet the family and um, just interact with them and then uh, from their like collective wisdom um, a marriage was brought about but today um, there is a lack of any type of covering any type of boundaries and any type of protection for women out here and so because you have direct access to women uh, from your phone and from like social media and the DMs and all that other stuff, you can get into unintentional relationships. And I talked about that in my like pursuing a woman video. And um, when you don't have like direct like confirmation or revelation from the Lord, this is my wife, this is my husband, um, you date casually. And when you date casually, um, for someone who is not a lifelong person, you run the risk of, uh, I don't know, getting hurt. <laughs> and so uh, now that you are hurt, what what is like the help or whatever? And so the help is that we um, acknowledge God's um, usefulness for pain. And what um, pain is supposed to breed is supposed to breed um, some type of um, repentance, like turning to God, um, some type of like revelation, acknowledgement, something that you learn, or um, some type of like birthing and growth. So if we do not um, utilize pain properly, we cannot get, um, I don't know, effective change and success from a breakup. So acknowledging where the pitfalls are, where it comes from, because if we see naturally, giving birth is painful just like heartbreak but from that you get a baby working out is potentially painful but what you get is muscle and health so what do we get when it comes to spiritual discipline spiritual revelation and stuff like that um number one um you should have learned your boundaries and um, intentionality in pursuing somebody or being pursued. And so if you um, know um, what like attracts you, um, you can make sure you do not fall for familiar spirits. So usually, um, I don't know, we have some type of like carnality, we have some type of flesh, we have some type of worldliness or vanity um, that does not measure up for a woman of God or it does not measure up for a man of God. And when we tolerate that, then that's when we're unequally yoked. As in um, 1 Corinthians 7, it says, what fellowship does light have with darkness? What um, communion does unrighteousness have with righteousness? So as a, um, I don't know, a Christian, you have to be equally yoked. Um, that doesn't mean um, all Christians who are single are supposed to be together. And so that's where we come into the point of intentionality um, that you 
go into prayer in Revelation when seeking someone or when someone is pursuing you. Um, just because someone has um, interest does not mean they have investment in you and neither do you have to give your time over to them. So um, making sure that you do have boundaries when it comes to access of like, no, <laughs> like a good, really good one ladies that you could use is um, ask a man, um, did the Lord tell you to pursue me or did the Lord tell you that I'm your wife? Because if they're not, they're not intentional. That I really don't think a lot of people are intentional in pursuit or being pursued. So ask that and then ask the Lord <laughs> um, yourself. And so from there, um, what should you do? Um, basically like to get over that person. Um, and we're just um, cutting it dry. Um, hopefully um, you kept your boundaries um, in engagement of like sex, but um, sex is not the only way um, to get a soul tie. Soul ties can come from um, good people and good interactions. Um, the point of a soul tie is to tie a woman to a man and um, to be husband and wife and that's like where covenant comes in and then covenant is like sealed with consummation like sexual intercourse so that is the blessing and benefit of um non-premarital sex so sex after marriage and so if you want to get over someone and you have broken those boundaries or if you haven't broken those boundaries you can have a soul tie as well um first you can have um fasting Fasting is one of the top ways to get over someone with any type of breakup, even not, well, we don't even have to have breakups when it comes to um, romantic relationships. You can break up with friends and, or even like, you can't really break up with your family, but um, you can choose not to engage with them. And so um, fasting is a great way to um, do away with that. And so if you need um, tips on how to fast, I have a video on it like right here and it comes from the gospels and so um but also fast from engagement um fast from engagement is really important because a lot of y'all like to stalk people or um still like talk to them but there is um what fasting does there's a sifting out um spiritually of heart and just ties and so um that needs to be severed and um that is like one of the really heavy things. Um, fasting um, is intentional seeking of God. So um, prayer, Bible study, and worship um, in replacement for eating and drinking, which you are abstaining from. And so that's number one. Um, I can't um, express how important um, prayer is during this time to go over a breakup because um, Prayer is like the heart's cry, right? And so in the New Testament, it says, when we don't um, know what we ought to pray for, the Lord hears our groanings, he hears our pain, and um, the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us. And so this is um, the importance of us approaching his throne of grace boldly, um, that we may obtain mercy and stuff like that. And so um, what prayer does, a lot of people, we don't express ourselves well enough. And so healthy expression, at least like vocalizing like pain or grief or loneliness or depression, it helps us to, um, I don't know, to um, process and basically clean out the clutter that's in our heart and in our emotions in our lives and stuff like that. And so from there, you also have um, James 5, right? Confess your faults one to another. The effectual and fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. So um, have prayer in like corporate settings, but also just um, intimate prayer. So that's the one thing, like we said, like utilize your pain. Um, you can um, develop great spiritual practices and great spiritual um, habits of prayer, of fasting, of Bible study. Um, because if that was lacking in any way, um, if you lack wisdom, James says to um, ask of the Lord and he gives liberally to those. And so um, one of the best like scriptures that we have in the Bible is that 
um, Jesus is called our high priest, like our in between to God. And it says we don't have a high priest that does not um, understand us, but in every way was tempted and felt our afflictions, but still did not sin. So if we know that God was um, fully um, divine, Jesus was fully divine, but he was also fully human. He knows like our suffering, he knows our pain, and he has great compassion and empathy, empathy towards us. So prayer, fasting, but the most important thing that you will have to do is um, Bible study because that is the sort of the spirit that is how we get cleansed this is how we renew our minds that is Romans 12 2 so don't be um, conformed to the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and so just practical tips um, because I know it's like some of y'all, y'all engage um, with the people because they were at your church. And so I know with my ex, I left <laughs> the church. I'm not saying y'all have to leave your church, but um, there has to be um, holistic healing before um, reconciliation. And don't think you are obligated um, f um, just because you are reconciled to have to basically I don't know, rekindle or um, restore. Like, you, just because you reconcile with someone doesn't mean you have to restore any type of relationship. Um, so don't feel the obligation to that. And also, um, when it comes to um, the Christian dating, Christian courting video or pursuing a woman video that I talk about, one of the most important things is that Christian breakups should really be different um, than worldly breakups. If you were stewarding over this person Helpfully, and what that means is that um, good godly boundaries because before um, this person is an interest is a boyfriend is a girlfriend is a husband is a wife they are a child of God but most importantly they are your brother or sister in Christ so your behavior should um, reflect that and if it was not reflecting that then that's why um, Christian breakups oftentimes resemble worldly breakups, right? Because um, there was too much investment with a lack of wisdom in engagement. And so um, that's how you can really tell um, if you are like genuinely friends um, and the boundaries were respected, you steward over this person um, hard, you didn't lead them on um, like worldly people do, because I know a lot of Christians lead people on, men and women leading people on but also just like playing with emotions by just lying or even being too zealous so um thinking that you're hearing from god but hearing from your emotions right and so with that if you are stewarding people properly in emotional um um, protection and communication and also sexual boundaries then breakup should be really clean because y'all should still be friends there shouldn't be like hatred or anger um, because of that and so um, prayer fasting Bible study um, distance like boundaries um, if you need to I had to block some people so block <laughs> if you need to block <laughs> And then um, worship, oh, how did I forget about worship, um, is a great um, way because um, in Psalms, it says that God inhabits the praises of his people. And so if he is really close, that pain being utilized to birth something, to grow you, to mature you, will make for a deeper um, worship a stronger prayer life in a more diligent Bible study life but also um, don't dwell um, it said do not neglect the assembly of the brethren so don't we're not made to be alone we're not made to be isolated um, people we are communal beings and creatures so make sure that you are in community um, that you have some type of headship um, some type of spiritual overseers or somebody to talk to that has wisdom with that and um, make sure that um, breakups aren't messy and they're not um, worldly um, like um, gossiping and 
backbiting and bashing people because that doesn't do anything. So there's a difference between like um, your testimony and like venting. It's because a lot of people don't know how to express themselves godly and holistically and holy and righteously. So the truth is the truth, but it doesn't mean like you have to spread the truth to too many people. So find um, people that you can confess your faults, like an accountability partner or a circle of friends. Don't like spread all over the church. <laughs> and um, those are the top ways to basically get over a breakup. And um, if you're trying to like break up with someone, make sure you're an adult and you communicate, um, um, express yourself what you're feeling. Because a lot of people want to break up and be like, the Lord told me. No, say that um, you got into the relationship too quick or that um, y'all broke your sexual boundaries or um, I don't know, you're not interested in them or they behave ungodly, like something where um, they don't have to fill in the gaps because um, a lot of people just want to use Jesus as an excuse for their own um, lack of discipline and their own sinfulness. But don't, don't put God's name on stuff that you did wrong. <laughs> Take responsibility and um, just be honest. Don't prolong it, um, do it quick. Um, one thing I was telling one of my friends, it was like, um, act and let your mind catch up. Cause like, if you think too much, you're going to talk yourself out of it. But, um, if you know, like you shouldn't be doing this, then, um, say, and then, um, let your mind catch up with all that other stuff. So thanks for watching. And, um, if this video has been informative to you, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and let me hear from you. Um, how have you dealt with a breakup? How have you gone about it? And um, how did you get over it? And two, um, do you see a difference between worldly dating um, and courting when it comes to breakups? versus like Christian courting and whatever. Because there is no girlfriend and boyfriend. It's like either you single or you married. Like all these little are uh, we talking is dumb. <laughs> so let's hear from you like your experience, what's been different. And um, make sure to come back. We have a set schedule. New music Mondays at seven o'clock. Wisdom Wednesday Wisdom Wednesdays um, um, at seven o'clock and then um, funny Fridays for our comedy videos. So hit us up on all social media platforms. That is Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and all that is at The Blessing Report. And remember that everything important is in the description box below. So that's all the music I'm playing. That's all the um, Bible verses. And um, this video has been brought to you by my books, Searching for Land. And then my newest release, the Science of Salvation, the manual for manufacturing and manipulating faith. There is a great um, dating section in the book when it comes to <laughs> misusing hearts and doing that. So make sure y'all are studying people's hearts well. And um, thank you for watching the video. And remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching. Get to the video and the playlist right around here. Is it hello? Is it hello or goodbye? Which one am I to say? I don't want to be fooled.